Good morning. Candace Carroll joins us. Good morning, Candace. Are you there? Hey. Hey, Tara. How are you? I'm doing great. What's um did you have a good Christmas? I did. I did. What about you? Uh absolutely great Christmas, especially uh with the kids. Um, but I know that you um have some concerns that you want to talk about about drug licensing. Yeah, I mean, here we are, right? We're it's the second day of twenty twenty four. We are right back at it, um, looking at the policies coming out of the Biden administration and something that really caught my eye, frankly, that came out before Christmas and we just didn't have a chance to talk about it then, is that the Biden administration has recently announced a plan to give itself its own power, because that's what they love doing with this administration, to confiscate pharmaceutical drug patents whenever federal officials deem it that the prescription drug would be too expensive to go on to the market. So this just absolutely blows my mind. There are patents for a reason, and a lot of those patents are due to, you know, making sure that the drugs can come to market, that things go through the right approvals process with the FDA. But now the Biden administration is saying, like, hey, if this drug's going to be too expensive, we're going to come and take your patent, and we're going to give it to someone else to produce that drug, which is just mind-blowing to me. Yeah, well, it's really sad because that means people are going to be like, well, forget that. I'm not going to spend a billion dollars deli- you know, deliver- delivering, developing this drug that battles cancer. And it's just going to upend research programs. And especially since we've tracked this, Candice, the last couple of years, I mean, we are, I don't think we're that far away from curing many types of cancers. We're having some real breakthroughs. I mean, to have the Biden administration do this now is devastating. Absolutely. And and there was a law put back into place in the 1980s. I mean, when Senator Bob Dole was in office, that talks about, you know, reasonable pricing should not be dictated by the government. And so, like, you know, it's talking about, like, the patents there, talking about how, you know, again, making sure that there's competition in the market when it comes to innovation, um, but has nothing to do with the price control. And so here you have, you know, Biden and his administration coming in, thinking that they, you know, know all, right? And they're mm-hmm. saying, hey, Tara, you can't produce that drug. If you're going to market it at that price, we're going to give it to Candace instead. Well, then you get rid of the competition in the marketplace because, and you're like price gouging folks at that point. So like, it's just crazy to me that they think that they have this authority to come in and set the prices when it comes to, you know, pharmaceuticals at this point. But frankly, I think this would open Pandora's box to let them come in and set the prices on a variety of other things. And Gannis Carroll, you said something earlier, because I'm not super familiar with this issue. You said that the new Biden administration plan, okay, they decide this new drug, it's, it's, you're selling it for too much. Did You You said they, they come in and take your patent and they can give it to somebody else, like another company? Yeah. Like yes. maybe, maybe yeah. people have so donated under, to them or, I mean. Yeah, so this plan is still in development as to like what they want to do, but essentially yeah, federal officials would, would march in, and I say march in quotes, but I in my mind I also picture some, like, toy soldiers coming in, but, like, they yeah. would come in and, and confiscate your pat- patent, so take your patent from you on a high price drug and give that patent to someone else. So never mind, you've been the one who's been developing all of this, done all the research, you're getting ready to take it to the market, and then the Biden administration is saying, that price is going to be too high, we're going to take your patent and, and give it to someone else. It's just mind-blowing that they would try to do something like that that is not good um and you know you would think that they would need a vote of congress to do this but um, yeah you would think you would think (laughs) you would think but this this administration doesn't seem to go through congress for hardly anything they just try to you know play by their own rules and no president in history has ever tried to do this before and there would be, I think, profound consequences, negative consequences, as we talked about on innovation, frankly, on patient health. Because, again, as you mentioned, why would people go through all the trouble to try to, you know, create these products, create these pharmaceuticals uh, that could heal cancer or other things, knowing that their patent could be taken from them if their price was too high? Yeah. Too high, deemed by the federal government. Well, it, like you said, it, it's not going to matter if the prices are high or low because there aren't going to be any new drugs. There's right. No way people will invest in this. No, not at all. I mean, it would absolutely discourage private investment. It would discourage collaboration among people who are working together, discourage that risk taking that, you know, you have to have in order to create these new pharmaceuticals. So, I mean, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, you know, two days into the new year, but I think it's something that people should absolutely pay attention to 
you should call your congressman and ask, you know, what their thoughts are on the Biden administration trying to put this plan into place. Really frustrating, Candace Carroll. Um, what can people do about it? I know that you have a link on your website. We do. So we have a link on our website at americansforprosperity.org. Um, and I will also post that on social media for people who follow us on Facebook or on Twitter. I'm at Americans for Prosperity South Carolina. And again, I would call your your congressman. They're getting ready to go back uh, to Capitol Hill and ask them what their thoughts are on the Biden administration. Um, you know, developing this plan to potentially take people's patents and confiscate them if, and give the the patent to someone else um, if the drug pricing is too high, because it's something that Congress should definitely be aware of if they're not. Um, and we should know like what our elected officials are planning to do to stop the Biden administration from leaning in even further into this, you know, crazy plan that they have concocted. Just given this, Candace Carroll, can you imagine what term two would look right would look like of a Biden administration? I mean, I can't even begin to imagine what they would try to do. I know. I don't even want to think about a term two at this point. I saw that the president was asked what his new year resolution was and it's to come back in 2025 and it's like we can't we can't live four more years on our under a biden administration and so you know if they they're doing this and there's other things they've done over the past four years um you know it would just be crazy to think that he could have another four years in office the minute of people he's surrounding himself with in this administration and you know the the government overreach that they are doing more so than any other administration, I would say, in history is just astronomical and needs to be stopped. Amen. One more time, Candace, where can they find you? Check us out at americansforprosperity.org. Um, you can also follow us um, on Facebook and on Twitter at Americans for Prosperity South Carolina. Thanks again, Candace Carroll. Really appreciate you joining us. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day.